Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm excited to be sharing with you my passion planner and I wanted to share with you the new passion planners I decided to use for 2023. So as you guys know, I've been an avid get to work book for like seven years and decided this year in 2022 to change it up and try something new and I'm so happy I did because I have fallen in love with the passion planner. So this planner has truly become an obsession. It's a place for me to uh, keep up with work, with my kids, uh, our schedule, and also a great place for me to be creative. And you guys know how much I love to stamp, journal, all that good stuff, and kind of keep up with all my currentlies as well. So this has been a great switch for me. I'm obsessed and I can't wait to share with you um, my pages in my passion planner. A lot of you have asked to see flip through of my pages. Uh, I do have a lot of videos here on my channel sharing flip throughs of my passion planner. And I also do have a few on Instagram. So if you haven't seen them, I definitely recommend to check them out. Uh, I do have a playlist and um, I basically wanted to start by saying I do a few things in my passion planner that's different and I love doing them because they mean something to me if that makes sense. So with my calendar I like to keep up with my photos. As you guys know I'm a documenter. I love to document through photos and journaling and my passion planner is no different than my other projects. This is a place for me to keep up with all my photo taking, keep up with my stories. I love using the calendar to keep up with my project life. I change up my planner a little bit. I kind of cover up a few things here and there uh, that makes more sense to me. So basically this planner uh, has the monthly calendar and it has like a little section here where you can kind of jot down little things like people to see, places to go. This I would never use. Uh, I would rather have the week numbers on the side and have my photos in the calendar. So when I come in to check out my project life, like what photos I took that week, what I want to document, I can just come into my passion planner and look at the calendar and basically see all my photos. Some photos don't fit in my calendar, which is okay, but I can kind of come in here and see, oh wait, we did this and did that. I do want to document that in my project life. So this is a great place for you to keep up with your photos or to memory keep. If you want to start memory keeping in a simpler way, a planner is the way to go. And I totally recommend the passion planner. So I also do keep up with my reading. Uh, I leave this section for reading. I just uh, stamp read that and add my book covers. And it also helps me kind of keep up with how many books I read, what I read, all that good stuff. I also like to keep up with my currently, so currently reading, watching, and any happy mail that's coming in, anything I ordered. I like to use the weekly to keep up with our schedule. And the bottom portion is usually work. In the beginning, I was trying this out, trying to figure out how I want to use it, but I switch it around in the months to come. I also like to do like little mind maps. My mind maps, I get asked about them all the time. And basically, they're just little images or icons that represent the week. So for like this week, which was week one, I dropped off my son at school at UGA. Uh, my daughter started school again after the holidays. Uh, my husband traveled to Dubai, just little things like that, work. And I just jot down a little bit of something. Uh, I do change it up from week to week. As you can see, I kind of played with my spreads, tried to figure out what I wanted to document in here, what I wanted to keep up with. I do keep up with my social media. As you guys know, I'm a content creator, so that's something important to me. Uh, not the amount of people that follow me, but to kind of see if I'm growing, and that is definitely something important to any content creator. And sometimes I just draw and doodle and just have fun with it. And like I said, the Passion Planner brings out your creativity big time. Uh, you can 
add your photos, you can doodle, you can stamp. It's endless. And I love that about the Passion Planner. It's really, it's stupid to say kind of, but it's changed my life because everything I need is in one book. And uh, I just really enjoy being creative at the end of the night. I always come in here uh, by the end of the day and just check for the next day what I have scheduled. Um, I sometimes draw something out. I fill out all the things. I do not fill out the monthly reflection. I'm just not that type of person. I did try, I think, in like January, but um, it's just not me. I, I don't keep up with that stuff. So I kind of started ignoring those pages, but it's a great way if you like that stuff. It's a great place for you to keep up with your feelings and all that good stuff and kind of reflect on the month. But again, we go back to the monthly calendar, add my photos, keep up with work, with my kids, what they're up to. I love adding little things like this, like it was Ramadan at the time. So I just used my stamps, some stickers. And basically it's like kind of on repeat. And that's the beauty of this is once you get the hang of it, and you decide that you like, for me, let's say I love the mind map, so I kept with it. It's a great way for me to look back and see the week in doodles and in stickers. And also, it's just very creative and fun. I just love being able to play and not worry about the outcome of me drawing a peach or a guitar. I literally drew that. And I, I've said this before, I'm not an artist. I just like to play around and I try things out, and if it works, great, and if it doesn't, it's not a big deal, it's just a planner. So this is definitely a great spot for you to kind of document your life if you're looking for a memory keeping journal. Uh, because this is all set up for you, you don't have to stamp out the dates or anything. All you do is just come in, add photos, add some stickers, doodle, and you're good to go. So around, I think, May actually, no June, so around June, I decided to stamp this little book in the corner. This is a great way for me to kind of just look real quick and see how many books I read for the month. I wasn't doing that in the beginning of the year, but like I said, things change. Sometimes I use the work to-do list. Sometimes I don't just because I have my work stuff up here. Again, I didn't draw a mind map here. I stamped out flowers and colored them in. That was a lot of fun. Then I go back to my mind map. So there's not a right or wrong way to do this. You can definitely play and just have fun with it. So we're in July and you know it's coming to the end of summer and you can kind of see me um, fall off the wagon a little bit so my mind maps were not as busy. This one is actually really cute but um, I started to you know get the kids ready to get back to school, back to college, all that good stuff and you're gonna see in August I barely have photos. I wasn't taking pictures. I kind of fell in a rut in August, which is okay, but I was reading a lot and you can see I read like seven books, which is awesome. But again, not a big deal. I was really busy. So like in my mind maps, I just drew out cats. Now this is not my art or anything. I found it on Google and I just drew it in my planner just to have fun and I thought it was really cute. I tried out going with pink. I'm not a pink person. I uh, wasn't loving the pink here, so I decided I will never do pink in my planner again. But again, I'm just playing here. I'm busy. There's some moments where there's a lot of curse words here <laughs> somewhere. Uh, I was just so mad that month or that week. Um, sometimes as a content creator, I did want to mention this, sometimes you have other content creators uh, imitating you and copying your work and it's frustrating and this literally put me in a rut for weeks so that was a little bit tough on me and there was a lot of um, mad emojis in there and uh, curse words but anyways let's move on uh, we are at the end of August and now we're in September so for September we're in the first week or second week of September I still didn't print out my photos I usually print them out in bulk so what I'll do is uh, within two weeks, once the month starts, I'll print out those two weeks and stick them down so I don't do it daily or anything like that. 
just because I create little collages using my Ivy printer. I've mentioned the Ivy Canon printer uh, in my other uh, Plan With Me videos, but it's a great little printer. I will link it in the description box for you, and it is linked in my Amazon shop. But I do a collage of four photos, print them out with my Ivy printer, and I get the size. So it's really easy and simple. So I like to wait until I have a lot of photos to be able to create the collages and print them out and add them to my calendar. So we're in the first week of September. So as you can see, some days are filled out more than others, but as the week progresses, I get to fill out more of it. I will stamp little moments uh, like my daughter getting a hundred in her Georgia Tech quiz and she's a senior in high school which was so exciting and I'll stamp things out as I go and I will add little journaling here and there again I have my social media I fill out my social media before the week starts so I can kind of see how much I progress throughout the week but basically that's how it looks throughout the week and um, this is how my month looks right now I actually didn't get a lot set up for my planner beforehand, but that's okay. I'll do it probably week by week. And hopefully by the end of the month, I will share with you my October setup. Um, I do write down little things that we have to get done through October, but that usually happens mid-September, if that makes sense. But anyways, that is my passion planner. And let's get to the good part where I'm going to share with you what I grabbed from the Passion Planner website when they released their new Passion Planners. Uh, I also want to mention I do have a discount code. It's always linked in my Passion Planner videos. So if you want to get um, a little discount while you purchase your own Passion Planner, definitely check it out. I will add the code and the link in the description box for you. But let's get to it. I want to share with you my new passion planners. Okay, so I bought a few things <laughs> when they were releasing the new passion planners. And I wanted to share all of it with you. So we're going to start with my weekly passion planner. I decided to grab the Sakura Melody in Burgundy. It is so beautiful, you guys. I'm just in love, right? It, this is so beautiful. The color, the feel. I was in between two different styles or covers, but I really love this one and I'm so happy I decided to grab this one. Uh, as you can see, there's like birds and flowers and a branch. It is gorgeous. Now I did notice when I received it, I think it got a little bit damaged in the corner from shipping but that stuff doesn't bother me at all it's not a big deal i think it will take you know after a few weeks of using it but this year they changed it up a little bit and they added stickers in the back so i think you get five sheets of stickers this year so let's take a look at the stickers Obviously, they always add the, the little Passion Planner stickers, and I like this Take the Leap. Really, really cute. And these are the sticker sheets that come with your planner, which is pretty awesome, and they are so beautiful. I love this one. That's so fun. So you get the five sheets of stickers in the back of your planner, which is perfect if you don't want to purchase um, their sticker sheet booklets separately. So it already comes with some. But this is basically the same exact setup. I love the dated ones. Um, it saves me a lot of time and I will definitely be using this in 2023. I can't wait to share with you how I'm gonna set it up and all that good stuff by the end of the year. But I'm excited for this and I love the color and the feel of this planner. It's just so beautiful and I can't wait to share all the things with you. But I also did grab another planner and I want to share that one with you as well. So I also grabbed the Tiger Orange Undated Daily Planner. I really wanted to try this out. Um, I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to use this. 
hopefully in a few months I will decide and let you in on all the things. But for now, I am in love. I can't wait to use this. So this undated planner has like little things that I think I could totally use and be worth my time basically. Uh, so as you guys know, I create this calendar in my reading journal to keep up with my reading. And I think this would be perfect for something like that. You have the January you know, through December. So that's a great place to do that. Or you can use this as a tracker if you wanted to. So that's awesome. Every month has a calendar overview, which is awesome as well. And there's little things in here that you can use to kind of keep up with your self care, this month's uh, game changer goals, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I'll use it, but it's nice to have. So you have the calendars and all that stuff there, and then it jumps into your weekly spreads or your daily spreads. So each day has like an empty space for you to be creative, to journal, whatever the case is. If you're using this as a planner, this would be probably a place for you to kind of jot down your schedule, your to-do list. It also has a timeline, which is awesome. Then you have the today's focus my game changer goals, personal work, all that stuff. As I said, I haven't decided what I'm going to use it for 100%. I don't know if I'm going to cover any of this up, if I'm going to use all of it, but I love this little planner. I think it's a great space for me to be creative and change it up for next year maybe. I'm not sure. I'll definitely let you know in a few months, but it's going to be so much fun to work in this. I think there's about three months in here or four. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Definitely check out the site, but you're going to definitely need multiple um, undated planners if you're going to be using this for a whole year. And that orange, this orange is just gorgeous. I can't believe I didn't talk about this beautiful cover, but this is, like I said earlier, the tiger orange and it is beautiful. I love it. It's so soft. I can't even explain the feel of this. It's kind of velvety and it's embossed and that tiger is gorgeous. Love this cover. Can't wait to use it next year. I also did grab some tabs and I tried to match the tabs with my new planners. So I grabbed the green one to go with my orange planner. And I think it's going to look really pretty. And I grabbed this one, which is the Peach Sunrise, to go with my burgundy. And I really like this combo. It took me a while to decide on the green with the orange, but I think it's going to look really, really pretty. These tabs are wonderful. You guys, I use them in a lot of my projects, like my um, Scrappy Spiral Notebook. These are the tabs I use for my Scrappy Spiral Notebook. These tabs I use in my daily journal. They're just perfect to have on hand and they always have big sales with these tabs. So I know I think they're like $10, but you can definitely grab them on sale. They're just really good to have. And whenever they're on sale, I grab a bunch of them just because I use them in other projects. And I also did grab, let's see here. I grabbed this adulting work and everyday life sticker book. I use their sticker books. They are so cute. And what I love about their sticker books, they are created by multiple designers and they always give a shout out to their designers. And it's, I always try to go in there and find the designer on Instagram and follow them. But this sticker book was a must have. It is so good. I don't know if you can see that. They're just so adorable. I love that it has like job well done, dance break. There's plants in there. There's so much to choose from and it's going to be perfect. Love the dog and the cat on the laptop. This one's one of my favorites, the adulting. Really good. I don't feel like adulting today. So cute. Definitely recommend this sticker book. I, at this point, I think I have five of their sticker books, but these are so good. Like the cat with boxers on, like, come on, that's so adorable. 
So definitely recommend it and I can't wait to start using it. I'm definitely using going to start using it this year. I'm not going to wait for next year. So I'm really excited for this. I'm excited for my new planners. Always recommend Passion Planner. Uh, I've really fallen in love with the Passion Planner this year. Uh, like I said earlier, I know it's crazy to say this, but it has really changed my life. And I feel like I'm more productive using my Passion Planner just because I'm so obsessed with it and I love flipping through it. So being able to kind of look at something that you're dreading, right? Like a, a work or a schedule or appointments or whatever the case is, but looking at it when it's so pretty like that, it makes you want to get it done and mark it off and highlight it. You know what I mean? So you're not looking at this planner that's very basic and boring. Uh, you're looking at pictures that make you happy, stamping, stickers, and just a planner that makes your day a little bit better. So I definitely recommend it. Really excited for next year. I can't wait to start my new passion planner and uh, start building my own passion planner shelf. Uh, as you guys know, I have a shelf for every project and I'm definitely going to start one for my passion planners. But anyways, you guys, I am going to wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed watching my flip through and my little share. And like I said earlier, I do have a discount code and I will link it in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.